Hey friends, so welcome to a new video where I'll be sharing the resources I use to pass my Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer exam. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and like because I'll be sharing all these amazing tips in regards to cloud and cloud certifications. I have some videos on DevOps. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. With that being said, let's get started. To give you a bit of a context where I'm coming from, how much experience I had in cloud for this certification and why did I do this certification in the first place? So, some of you know I joined Google early this year and part of joining Google Cloud team was that I have to sit this certification uh, within a certain period of time. And I decided to, you know, study for it, take it in, I think I took around 30 days to prepare for it, 25 to 30 days, and sat the exam and, you know, passed it. So there were some resources that I'll be sharing. All of them will be in the description. But yeah, I have been working in the cloud for almost two years, two and a half years now. And I have prior experience with AWS and Azure. Cloud computing as a concept was not new to me. I've had hands-on experience but I had to transfer that knowledge over to the Google Cloud platform. DNS is still DNS, if it's Route 53 or you know, DNS in Google Cloud or Azure. A VM is still a VM, EC2 instance in AWS, VM in Azure and Compute Engine in Google Cloud. Point I'm trying to make is I did know how cloud worked. It was just transferring the knowledge over. With that out of the way, let's get into the resources that I used. Starting with the actual certificate, I just wanted to kind of show you they have added a new badging system now um, and you have a blockchain ID for your badge. But yeah, so the first thing I referred to was the Associate Cloud Engineering Exam Guide, which is, you know, the official exam guide by Google. And you can kind of see how they have different sections. So I kind of had an outline, you know, on what are some things that I need to focus on. So section one was setting up a cloud solution environment. And then you can see a bunch of objectives that you have to make sure, you know, you have some experience around that. The section two is planning and configuration, a cloud solution. Section three is deploying and implementing a cloud solution. Section four, ensuring successful operation of a cloud solution. The last section, which is configuring access and security. I won't go in much detail as I'll be linking this down below, but yeah, this is the guide that was kind of my go-to document when I was preparing for this certification. So the other uh, official kind of resource you have from Google is the learning path. So the cloud engineer learning path, this will link you to the cloud skills or quick labs, I think it was known as before. So you can see there is a learning path that kind of matches your the official guide that Google provided. And if you click on any one of these so you know preparing your associate cloud engineer journey if we click on learn more you can see there is a cloud skills boost lab which you can do and as it says there are six courses and 25 labs so it kind of prepares you not only you know you you're not only given video based content but you're also doing hands on labs so i highly recommend going through this learning path i did go through the entire learning path and i love anything that's hands-on. I've used Quick Labs in the past. Google Cloud Skills Boost is kind of um, an update to that. I think it's an amazing resource and you can not only do the certification based labs, you can also, you know, kind of see many other labs that I would highly recommend get you that hands-on experience. For the video based course, I chose Coursera preparing for your associate cloud engineer journey and then they have some other essential courses so i did do the cloud fundamentals core infrastructure scaling and automation too so these were the two courses that i did along with this Coursera we were given access to Coursera uh, uh, at Google so this was kind of free for me 
it might be paid. Keep a lookout on the Google, Twitter, or LinkedIn. They often post, you know, some kind of challenge where you can enroll in these Google Cloud challenges and access some of the resources for free. An alternative to this is this amazing resource from Free Code Camp and Anthony, who has provided the Google Associate Cloud Engineering course, the complete course for free on YouTube. You can find this on Free Code Camp's YouTube channel. I'll link it down below, but it's an amazing resource. I also highly recommend doing practice exams because it kind of sets you up for, you know, what you can expect in the exam, what kind of questions would be there. You can prepare um, with, you know, text-based and video-based content, but in the end of the day, to get a feeling of what the actual exam would be like, I highly recommend doing practice exams. And one of the resources that I've mentioned in AWS um, videos too is Tutorial Dojo. I think their practice exams are really good. Because what I have found is with some of the other providers, even, even if you're answering the right, even if your answer is right, they'll mark it as wrong. So there is some kind of, you know, um, issue there. But um, I've had good experience with um, tutorials, dojo practice exams. So I highly recommend. And then moving on to any of you who would love text-based resource or, you know, a book and I have this official Google Cloud Certified Associate Cloud Engineer Study Guide, which is by Dan. So go check it out. I'll link it down below. I think this is amazing. I've heard really good things about this. I have a PDF version of this and I was referring to it every now and then uh, during my preparation, but I didn't strictly, you know, kind of stick to it because I had all these other amazing resources to rely on, but yeah go check out this book. Um, it's amazing. And then, so I have started utilizing flashcards to kind of memorize stuff and also see what I remember. I think flashcards are an amazing way to study. I used to do them when I was doing my diploma. And I think you have around 213 flashcards in this Quizlet. So I'll share the link to this too. And you basically kind of see like it has a definition and then you click and you get the answer, right? So you can kind of test yourself various different services that you might have covered for your preparation. And I think it's an amazing resource by Christopher. So those are kind of my resources that I relied on while preparing. And as I said in the beginning of the video, it kind of took me around 25 to 30 days, uh, you know, with preparing for the exam. And some other certification guides you can find on my channel as you can see I have sat multiple certification exams specific to cloud. So yeah, go check out the channel if you're looking for any of the other specific guides, whether it be Azure or AWS. So hope this video helped you prepare for your Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer exam. I wish you luck if you're giving your exam anytime soon and watch out for more cloud and DevOps content.